Hey everybody, it's Wednesday, April 1st. My name is Scott and this is Relevantly Speaking. Hi everyone, welcome to the show. Today is April Fool's Day, and while you can certainly find your share of pranks, scams, and hijinks all across the web, we thought we'd be completely original and not subject you to exactly what you'd predictably expect. So while other video programs have been busy thinking up how they could goof on you today, we've been working with people like Itai Paz of Aphilicon on some interesting emerging trends going on in China. Reporting from the Great Wall, let's check in with Itai. Hi, we're at the Great Wall at Beijing, China. We just went up through some of the stairs up here. It was very difficult. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if you know the Amazing Race, but we always laugh on TV why it's so, so difficult for them to go a few stairs up. But finally, we understood it. It's very, very difficult. It took us like, I think, 15 minutes just to go up uh, the long stairs. Um, we're here basically, I want to tell you uh, about China a bit, you know, it's amazing country uh, in all concern to internet and affiliate marketing. Uh, I think there's a big barrier of language for many companies when they think about China, what will happen, should they come here, uh, is it really worth here, and I'm telling you, there's a big, there is a huge market here. All you have to do is just come here and understand that. Uh, there are two companies that already have offices here in uh, China. One of them is Xanox, one of the biggest affiliate network in Europe and in the world, and they have their offices, and the second one is LinkTech. Actually, LinkTech is already reporting over 25,000 affiliates in uh, China and Taiwan. It's amazing. Just think about the possibilities. You can find here actually two things. On one side, you can find uh, lots of new offers, either international offers that you can offer all your affiliates and also local offers. And of course, the other side is affiliates. You can find here many affiliates uh, to do international traffic. They have traffic from the States, from Europe, from worldwide, and also local traffic. So it's actually amazing. Some companies already understood the potential in this market, and I think it's time for others to do it too. So reporting you from Beijing, China, the Great Wall, Itai, Paz, Felicon. Thank you, Itai. See, wasn't that a better use of your time than some silly April Fool's joke? Now, there's still plenty of time to register for Aphilicon in June in Israel. I'll be there. You should head on over to Aphilicon.com and sign up. Now, this week, I want to tell you about offer 2122 on the platform. It's Bintro. It's an ad valiant exclusive. Bintro is an opportunity matchmaking service for individuals, businesses, employers, job seekers, freelancers, and entrepreneurs. Free and anonymously, Bintro matches your audience semantically with what they're looking for, whether it be jobs, goods, or services. Bintro understands what users type, and it finds the most relevant opportunities. Now, for this offer, you can use email, search, social media, and display. Now, U.S. traffic only, and there is a lead cap, so you'll want to talk to your affiliate manager. Last week, we showed you an interview from Hugh Forrest at South by Southwest. This week, we wanted to bring you a slightly different point of view. Now, at every conference we attend, we ask attendees what their favorite thing about that particular event is. During South By, we got such enthusiasm from everyone we asked. Let's take a look at some of your favorite things about South By Southwest. My favorite thing about South By is just, I feel like it allows me to foresee into the future with these technologies. For example, Twitter last year, I didn't really get the impact of how Twitter connected people in an impromptu setting and bring people together like that. And seeing so many people in a social setting adopt these technologies, it gives you a glimpse at what two years or five years out might be with these technologies. And it allows you to just expose yourself to that type of adoption before it actually happens. And all of that allows you to speed up your innovation, your ideas, and I, I think South by above and beyond you know the futuristic outlook, the community pulls together and really supports each other. So it's a perfect blend between an organic community and a commercial community um, while seen into the future. Wow, the, my favorite thing about South by Southwest has got to be all the people that I've met. I mean it has just been a great community of people and I feel like 
Um, I have met so many interesting people that are like-minded, that are looking to pushing the technology in a positive way and taking not just online marketing, but things that people don't want to talk about, like advertising and PR. We're exploring those topics and seeing how we can change things for the better. So I'm really excited about meeting all these people. It's great. South by the whole experience. I tell you, day one coming in, it's already been amazing. Day two, lived up to the hype, amazing night again. And uh, it's just a combination of creative, fun people in this space and so many bars and, you know, the nightlife is incredible. Out till four every night, it's perfect. Well, South By has been an amazing experience this year. I, uh, with my colleague Brian Solis, we're the tech set and we ran the tech set blogger lounge here on the third floor, sponsored by Windows Mobile. And we had a huge party with over a thousand people on Friday night at the Belmont. But the best part has been the community building that's going on right here in the Blogger Lounge. Um, people are here for hours, all day long, interacting, uh, uploading content, blogging. Uh, we have had tweet ups every day from four to six with partners, including people like Zappos and AMD. Uh, tonight we have the Internet Geek Girls stopping by, so it's uh, a lot of top female bloggers are coming in today from four to six. So it's just been, you know, kind of nonstop networking and great content creation and great connection. Man, I, I love South by actually, a, I just bumped into a friend of mine, so that's actually, the best thing is meeting all the people in real life that I know online, right? But I just bumped into a friend of mine and she said, I, I was worried about missing things, I was worried things were happening that I wasn't a part of, and then I realized that the zen of South by is to just be in the moment and it's happening where you are right now, whatever it is. And that is a, it's a kind of an electricity you don't get anywhere else, right? All the people who are thinking about the kinds of issues that we tackle are here. And just walking down the hall, you can have great meetings. Well, that's our show for this week. Feel free to send questions or feedback to sparent at mediatrust.com or leave a comment in the show notes on our blog. I'm Scott Parent, and I'll see you next week.